AS Biology. Welcome, are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about cell membranes. Cell membrane structures. The function of the cell membrane is to control which substances are able to move through them. Membranes are partially permeable. There are two types of cell membranes that you need to know about, these are cell surface membranes or organelle membranes. There are cell surface membranes that cover the surface of the cell and control which substances are able to enter and leave the cell. Organelle membranes surround the organelles of the cell and keep that organelle separate from the cytoplasm. This means that different organelles can have different concentrations of ions or other substances than the cytoplasm and each other. Cell membranes are made from lipids such as phospholipids and cholesterol, proteins and carbohydrates. Some of the proteins and the lipids have carbohydrate chains attached and if they do they are called glycoproteins and glycolipids. The phospholipids are set in two layers with the hydrophilic heads out and the hydrophobic tails on the inside of the layer. The phospholipid bilayer is described as fluid. This means that the lipids are able to move around on the surface. The phospholipides are in constant motion and they slide past each other. This fluid nature gives the cell flexibility and allows cells such as red blood cells to squeeze through smaller gaps without rupturing. Throughout the phospholipid bilayer there are proteins such as channel proteins, receptor proteins and carrier proteins. Some of these proteins are fixed and others are able to move horizontally through the membrane. Channel and carrier proteins act as tunnels or pumps to move larger molecules and ions through the membrane. Receptor proteins are proteins on the surface of the cell's membrane and these allow the cell to detect chemical changes such as hormones this means that the cell can respond to these changes. Phospholipids have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. The hydrophilic head is attracted to water molecules whereas the hydrophobic tail seeks to avoid water molecules. When the phospholipids form a membrane the heads face out and the tails are in the middle away from any water. Due to the middle of the membrane being made up from hydrophobic molecules water and water-soluble substances cannot pass through the membrane unless they move through a channel or carrier protein. Cholesterol is another lipid that makes up the cell membrane, the cholesterol molecule acts to give the cell membrane stability. The cholesterol molecules bind to the hydrophobic tails of the phospholipids and make the phospholipids pack closer together. The cholesterol makes the membrane less fluid and more rigid this is very important in animal cells as there is no cell wall to give the cell structure and helps to support cells that are not in groups such as blood cells. Permeability means how easy it is for substances to pass through the membrane and this can be affected by the conditions that the cell membrane is under. The conditions that affect the permeability of the cell membrane are solvent concentration temperature. When the temperature is below zero the phospholipids have low energy and so they do not move around much. Due to the cold the molecules are close together and this makes the membrane impermeable. However the cold can affect the channel and carrier proteins allowing ions and molecules to move into the membrane. It should also be noted that at low temperatures ice crystals can form in the membrane and this can cause holes that will cause a large increase in permeability when the temperature rises. When the temperature is between 0 and around 40 degrees Celsius the permeability gradually increases. This is due to the phospholipids gaining more energy, moving further apart and moving around more. When the temperature is over 40 degrees Celsius the permeability increases rapidly, this is because the cell membrane begins to break down. This is caused by the phospholipids melting, the proteins deforming and the water in the cell expanding and rupturing the membrane. 